So when we first started hearing about COVID-19, we were concerned. Even before March, we had already launched our first call for proposals in our community to activate them because we really did think the writing was on the wall and that this virus was coming to Canada. We didn't have any idea how big it would be when it got here, but we did think we were going to have to deal with it. And we wanted our community to be ready. While the world was shutting down in March, we were gearing up. And we called on our community to send in their ideas that could have short-term, immediate, meaningful impact in about a six-month time frame. And we activated the top projects right away. We received 173 applications that were all reviewed within a couple of weeks. We selected the top 67 out of all of those projects and funded them. And they have gone on to make incredible contributions in clinical trials, new therapeutics, new diagnostics, in public health measures, in helping support the communities and understanding the effect of public health measures on mental health, education, and family dynamics. We've seen the power of science in this pandemic. Things like the clinical trial platform we support, the level three hot lab where researchers could work safely with COVID-19. And those are just the obvious science ones. And many of our community members have been leaders in translating the science and the public health messages to the community in a way that people can understand. When you talk about a pandemic, when you talk about infectious diseases, they are completely interwoven with many facets of our lives. Think about the knock-on effects from public health measures on education, on mental health, on the economy. These are complex issues. You find the answers to how to deal with these problems when you have a diverse group of experts who look at everything with different lenses. These are the people you need to address the type of complex problems that we've seen with COVID-19 and the type of problems that we are still facing in the community going out of the pandemic. I'm very, very happy with what we've accomplished. But not time to rest on our laurels. We initially had a long list of challenges that we wanted to face. Things like immune-related diseases, using the immune system to cure cancer, tackling the antibiotic resistance crisis and the loss of antibiotics, which threatens our whole healthcare system again in a far worse way than COVID-19 did. These are the fundamental challenges that MI4 is re-engaging with right now so that as the pandemic starts to wind down, we wind up 